Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here. Today I'm making a quick video just to show you what happened to me and to discuss a little bit what can happen to you if you do the kind of errors or mistakes that I made. I was completely disconnected from my home network. I was making some changes to my WAN1 and WAN2 port. As you know, my home network has two internet ports. I have WAN1 with Lumen and WAN2 with Comcast. So I was trying to swap those two ports. But what I forgot was that my main connection, my WAN1, is PPPoE. It's not DHCP. So for it to connect, I need to have a username, a password, and I also need to have a VLAN tag attached to the, to the interface. So what I did was that I moved WAN1 from one port to another port, and then I moved WAN2 to the port where I had WAN1 connected. So WAN2 found itself on a port configured for PPPoE, and when one found itself on a port configured for DHCP only and they could not connect. So I completely, as you can see, lost access to my UDMSE. I was logged out, nothing was working. And today you have many ways to access your devices. Like in my case, sometimes I can go with a VPN, I can build an L2TP VPN to my home network, go inside the device and make changes. Or I can just go on unify.ui.com where I can also get access to my UDMSE. But in my situation, it couldn't connect to any of these. I had no way to have access to my network, but internally. So I had to find somebody to connect internally to my home network so I can guide them into reverting those changes that I made. And that's something you don't want happening to you in production. You can look really bad for it. So you need to be very careful when you are dealing with devices remotely. If it's a very sensitive customer, for example, and you get disconnected like that, you need to find a technician to send on site to be able to revert the changes. Or you can talk to the manager on site. Hopefully they have a computer, they have a cable or they are connected to the Wi-Fi. They'll be able to go there and revert those changes for you. So just be careful when you are dealing with devices because it happened to people and it can be very costly. In some devices with vendors like Cisco, for example, I know there is a command. I'm not sure if it's this one here that I'm looking at, but there is a way for you to revert your changes if you don't confirm them after a certain length of time. I think it might be this configure rollback confirm change here. This will allow you to make changes and set some time, let's say five minutes or 10 minutes, and say, hey, if I don't come back in a device within five minutes, you need to reboot and revert to the previous configuration before the changes. That's a way for you to protect yourself. I didn't do a lot of research on some other vendors to see if there is any kind of command like this. But for Cisco, for some iOS XR, I know there's a way because you're dealing with big devices, you're dealing with devices that are in data centers where it's hard to access or it's hard to get somebody to go there and make the changes for you. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I will be making another video talking about OpenVPN because that's also one of the options I use to connect to my home network. If you like what I do, don't forget to like the video on YouTube, subscribe to the channel for more of these kind of videos, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram for the behind the scenes. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and bye.